Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently, I got a few questions about how to handle no data with uh, discrete rasters in QGIS. In this video, I'm going to show you first how to hide a certain value from uh, the visualization in the map canvas. Then I'll show you how to indicate or to assign a no data value, uh, which is a value in your data set that you want to treat as no data. And then uh, I'll also show you how to calculate the amount of cells that are uh, no data and how to replace no data values with values from another raster layer. Here we have a raster with uh, zeros and ones. It's a catchment raster where one is uh, the catchment and zero is outside of the catchment. Let's style uh, this raster. It's a discrete raster, so we use palleted unique values and that will classify each unique value found in the raster. So blue for zero and uh, one uh, is then red. And with the minus button, we can remove the zeros so they are uh, transparent. This is just a visual uh, trick. The zeros are still in the data. Just to make it clear, I've now put uh, OpenStreetMap in the background. So you can see that the zeros are transparent and the ones are visible in red. There's another way of uh, dealing with this. So let me just classify it again to have the zeros back. You can also go to the transparency tab and there uh, add a value that you want as uh, no data. So here if I type zero, the zeros become transparent. But let's uh, remove it. And uh, because this is only visually, the next step is to show you how to um, really indicate that the zeros are no data in this data set. In the raster menu, go to extraction and clip raster by extent. And there you uh, choose the layer for which you want to indicate the no data value. And you choose the same layer here for the extent. And then you can assign here a no data value. So if I type here zero, all the zeros will be indicated, assigned really in the data as no data. I call it uh, catch no data uses uh, g.translate in the background and there we have our result and now uh, the zeros are uh, not anymore uh, present as data but as no data in the raster. Now I'm going to show you a few other tools uh, with no data so I will use some tools from the PC Raster Tools plugin. In another video I explained how to install it. Um, we convert here catch no data to a nominal PC raster map. Let's call it catchment no data. It's exactly the same as the TIFF file, but now in the PC raster format. So I just copy the style. The zeros are uh, no data. And uh, I can now use a tool um, from the map operations, map area, if I change the unit to cells, it will give me the count of the, uh, the non-no data cells. So the number of data cells. If you choose here unit area, you will get it in square meters. And with the identify button, I can get the value. So these map operations assign the output value to all the pixels of the raster. So all pixels here have a value which represents the number of data values in this raster. If you have a raster with uh, more classes, in this case we only have one class of one, then you can use the area area tool. This will calculate the area in number of cells or in uh, the map units for each uh, class, each data cell that is in the map that belongs to a class. There are a few other tools that I want to demonstrate. With the defined tool you can uh, assign a boolean true for each data cell. And with the cover tool, you can uh, take the no data cells from a layer and replace it with a value from one or more other layers. So here we use the original uh, catchment, which has the zeros, so what we started with. And I'm going to save this to a name called merged. And here I've added all the zeros back again to the no data cells. So we have the zeros and the ones again. So I can copy the style and paste it. So now we see that we have 
replace the no data values of the catchment uh, with zeros. That's what you can do with cover. So in this video you've learned how to deal with no data values in discrete rasters using QGIS and tools from the PC Raster Tools plugin. With continuous rasters you can also interpolate the no data values using tools from the processing toolbox. There are other videos on my YouTube channel explaining that. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive updates and you like these videos. Looking forward to see you again next time.